No, if COVID wasn't a thing, me and the guests I have tonight would have been physically beside each other, partying, turning off, celebrating life. He's one of my dearest friends and just happens to be the king of Soka. Please welcome all the way from Trinidad and Tobago, Marshall Montano! What up? Marshall, I am so happy to have you on the show. A long time coming. Thank you for having me. This is a day I've been dreaming of. And to celebrate it with you, this is like the way we usually celebrate. So this is, this is. Marshall, obviously I'm a huge fan. I'm very knowledgeable about you, very knowledgeable about Soka music, but a lot of people watching might not be. And so break it down for everyone yeah. watching at home. Who is Marshall Montana? Well, Marshall Montano is a Soka artist. Some people say the king of Soka. I've been doing this forever. They call me the Michael Jackson of Soka. In Trinidad and Tobago, Soka music is that big brother of Calypso. It's that do, ka -do, ka -do. You know, and um, let's just say I'm one of the leaders of the pack. I've been around for many years, grew up as a child star, and now I'm that person who's on top of the trucks for Carnival, leading everybody down the streets, you know, and making people happy. I already knew all of this, but something I discovered quite recently was that you started this at nine, you said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I nine. recently discovered this video. Let's check it out. I come to so far. Nothing has changed. Nothing has changed. You are exactly the same. You're talking a lot about Carnival. I've had the pleasure of going. I've only actually been to Trinidad and Tobago's Carnival, but many islands have Carnival or their version yeah. of Carnival. What is Carnival? Well, Carnival is a celebration of culture. It's actually a celebration of life, the life that we are as a people. It is our creativity, but it's also our diversity. I mean, this is like our art as what we are as a people. And when it started off, it's a celebration of freedom. I mean, the real deal freedom. Back in the days of slavery, when, you know, the plantations would harvest all the crop and it would be a big harvest and the, the plantation owners would be happy, the masters, they would let the slaves party. And it's so funny that they're so free to express themselves. They would dress up like the masters and the masters would dress up like them and they would all make fun. And it will be that, you know, unbridled freedom. They could come out into anywhere and do anything. Today, this is what carnival is to us. We party in the streets. We express our different cultures, Africans, Indians, Chinese, Syrians. But yet we put on costumes and we live our fantasies in the streets. Everything good that you can name it. And it's sexy. Not like, you know. <laughs> Here's a real talk question. You just talked about how I, you know, come visit you every year for Carnival. Unfortunately, this will be the first year I don't. It's been very tough, but I'm not the only one. Many people, Trinidad and Tobago, and many of the Caribbean islands, become a hot spot for tourism. So, real talk with me. Does it get yeah. annoying to have so many tourists in your country? Are, are Trinidadians just like, these losers are here again? Is it annoying, or what is your viewpoint on this? Never. Never. That is the absolute opposite of what Trinidad and Tobago is. We love people in our houses. We love to bring people in. We love to feed them. You know, we love to carry them out to do what we call lime or wine. Liming is like hanging out, chilling, going to a fete or a party. And wine is not sipping wine. Wine is like moving your waist round and round. We love to introduce the world to that. We love to tell people we have the best carnival in the world. Yes, the best in the world. And, you know, we just love to welcome people in. That is who we are. You have so many songs about wine. You have fast wine. What else do you have? Slow wine, rough wine, one wine. <laughs> Sometimes you need a fast wine. Sometimes the up-tempo soca music playing and you need to just go really fast. Sometimes you see somebody who's dancing really nice and you want to slow it down. So what are some wines that don't exist yet? Is there going to be a medium speed wine song? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I don't think any wine has not been created. I think they've all been created. Maybe somebody needs a wine in space. Low gravity. <laughs> no gravity wine. And this is a shout out to Elon Musk, SpaceX, you know, Virgin Galactic. I'll be willing to be the first man to wine in space. You heard it here first. Let Marshall wine in space. Now, is it true? Because I've heard stories about this, but I personally don't know anyone that some people who live in Trinidad and Tobago, they literally work all year round for these two months and they quit their jobs and they're like, this is what I'm doing for two months now. Hello. <laughs> 
we leave Carnival in February, end of February, maybe March, and we go on tour, we come back home in September, October, and then we back in the studio recording albums for Carnival all over again. Mm -hmm. Some of these people who make the costumes, they do it all year, they're working on what I did. So Carnival is a full on industry. It's part of who we are. You know, the steel bands, they rehearse all year round. The entertainers are writing songs. This is like nonstop. It's not just a party for those Carnival days. It's, it's a business and it's a life. Now, what's your relationship with Carnival? Because you said yourself, you know, many people call you the king of soca. I'm sure it's a lot of pressure. I, I've personally been beside you many carnivals where Marshall is Carnival. Marshall comes around and that's when the party starts. What's your relationship with Carnival? Just like anything in life, it's a love-hate relationship. You know, you say with or without you. I can't live with you or without you. Carnival is such the greatest feeling to me. It's, it's how I know who I am. You know, when I think about my memories and I measure my life, I have to say, okay, what song did I sing that year again? You know, what carnival was that? It's measured in those years. I have made over 47 albums. So carnival is like in my blood. It's in my, you know, my heart, my capillaries. I live it. But then you, you sometimes, you know, you, you have writer's block. You feel fatigued. You're tired. You have to do so many shows when you're in demand. It could be emotionally draining. And sometimes, you know, you have to face, you know, the public. And you have to be that smile every day. So it's not easy. But it's also very rewarding, you know, because you get to meet so much people and see so much love. But I think it's just uh, just like life, you know, there's the ups and downs. I know you're being very modest right now, being like, you know, there's fatigue and there's... I've <laughs> been there seeing you do the carnival run. I remember the first time I came to carnival, you were about to go on stage. It was like 3 a.m. and you were about yeah, to go yeah, on yeah, stage yeah, yeah. and it was like your fifth performance of the night. And I saw you arrive and you're like, <laughs> Lily, I'm so tired, I don't know. And then as soon as they said Marshall Mantano, you were like, boom, you got on the stage, you were like, ha, ha. Do the sound for me, please. If you don't, this is the Marshall sound. Right? <laughs> and your voice would not break. All of your jumps were high. And I remember watching being like, this is the best performer I have ever seen in my life that has this much energy at three in the morning. So I completely applaud you. But you also did something special last year. You got married during, during Carnival, which is, <laughs> tell me about the decision to get married in such a public way during Carnival. It was 10 years of doing that same show in a stadium, filling the stadium for the last 10 years. And I felt like, you know, to be challenged, I had to do something more. And I just figured that, you know what? When you need to settle down like that, a relationship is important to keep you stable, to have somebody to have your back, to, you know, if you're gonna especially take some time off and live like a normal human being, you know, I felt like that love was there. And in the last couple of years when I'm touring, that would be my best friend. And that would be the person who understand what I want to do with my music and what I want to do with yoga and who could support me. Somebody who will give me that strength. I felt like, this is a good example for the young men in my country, you know, to see that, you know, you could you could dedicate your life to someone else. Put the ring on in front of them. And I felt like it was something special to share love. It's been a joy for me to see the evolution of Marshall Montana. You know, the first time I partied with you, it was us turning way up really hard. <laughs> bottles, bottles, shots, shots, and then that happened. But now it's at a place where, you know, the last carnival I did with you was very like, hey, no, I'm not drinking. Like, I'm doing my performance. I'm a little bit more spiritual. The evolution you've gone through, what prompted it? What, what led you to who you are today? You want to be one with yourself. You want to truly know yourself. So I said, you know what? I have to be a little more um, conscious of I'm getting older. I want longevity. I want to, you know, be more conscious about what I share because we have so many situations in the planet. We can't just party all night when, you know, there are issues for us to address. Mm -hmm. So I started slowing down on the partying. I started meditating and I realized, yo, you can have fun without being, you know, like all crazy and just focus. And it's really about me going in, trying to say, where do I go? Where do I get that strength to find something new? So, you know, don't be, don't be too, you know, surprised if I come back out all partying in 2022. Yeah. But this is like a, a, a yin and a yang time. There's a time to go in and a time to come out. And I just felt that evolution happening. I wanted to be there for my fans and for my friends more. And I wanted to do it more consciously, you know?